doing aluminum tubing by using a piece of aluminum angle to make it extremely strong. It's very simple and easy to do. And it's much stronger than just joining them like this. I use HTS 735 from aluminum-weld.com. The first step is to clean what I'm working on. I can use a carbon steel brush. Here I'm going to use this drill and a, and a uh, rotary brush. That's just a steel brush. And now that I have it clean, I'm going to tin both pieces. The way I do that is, I'll heat this up to 735 degrees, that aluminum will melt this rod. So I apply heat, I move the flame off to the side, I check it with the rod, then I apply more heat, and I check it. I'm going to tin all my pieces, just like I'm going to show you here, and then we'll clamp them together with these vice grips, and reheat the rod, and melt it, and you'll see an extremely strong 90 degree joint made from this aluminum tubing. Now it takes a few minutes to get this hot. I'm just using the propane torch here. Now notice I keep the rod away from the torch. I want this aluminum to melt the rod. That's how I determine the temperature. So I use this rod like it's a temperature stick. But it's very important that you keep the rod away from the torch. Let the aluminum melt the rod. Now I'm going to tin this entire piece here. There we go, see that? The aluminum just melted that rod. Now I can lift back the torch up in the direction I'm going to be working and apply that rod. Just a thin layer is all I need, and you'll see it penetrate into the pore structure of the aluminum. It forms a 45,000 pound tensile strength bond. I'm going to repeat this process to all the pieces I'm joining. And there is that. I have both my aluminum tubing tin. Now I'm going to tin my uh, brace here. Same method. Apply the heat and the flame off to the side. Check it. I hit 735. Just like my tubing here, that will melt the rod. I'm going to do this with all those surfaces I'm going to be doing. I hit 735. I just did. Melt the rod and I can raise the torch up or turn it off and apply the rod. I'm going to leave it on here because I want this to penetrate to the pores of the aluminum. Now one other thing you can do, that's kind of bulky there. I'm going to let that penetrate and I'm going to scrape it so it's a little bit smoother and it fits together much tighter. I now have all my pieces tinned. Now I'm going to put them together, clamp them in place, and reheat that rod. Minute the propane torch. There it is. Now the, the uh, bond is taking place and adding a little more rod to these joints here. The addition of strength. It really is that easy. The joints, this aluminum tubing together is extremely strong. You don't have to worry about this one ever to make it. HTS 745 from Still somewhat warm, but I'm going to take these clamps off. And there we have this formed, our 90 degree bend with square tubing. Aluminum-weld.com, HTS 735. Okay, well.